Hey folks, Malforan here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our adventures in Fabledom. This is episode 3 of our little preview series. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous episodes, there will be a link to this game in the description down below. It is in early access at the moment. As we've already seen, there are some features that are coming in the future. They've got a roadmap on there if you want to take a look at it. This is a series just to basically show you how the game plays, in case you were thinking of uh, picking it up yourselves, or just want to kind of see how the game plays anyway. But... Uh, with that, in, with that out of the way, we're just going to get straight into it. So, we've got our uh, beehive finished construction in one of our new uh, towns. Well, not one of our new towns, one of our new uh, houses down here. And then we're still building up some money. We need to send a message with a gift to another ruler. We kind of messed this up last episode, so we are going to fix it this time. I was thinking of doing the grain and building up the farm for that. But I think what we'll do is once we have enough gold... Um, We'll just send it to the nearest guy because it's 50 gold and we'll just do that. We do need to build out the um, the uh, the the farm for some of this grain because I don't believe we already built it. No, we have the, um, the pumpkin farm, which is doing quite well, getting us some vegetables. And we've got all the other forestry and things like that, but we do need to build the other farm. I am thinking we'll probably build it like over here somewhere, kind of out the way. I mean, I kind of want to buy this so they could be adjacent to each other, but... How much does it cost? 200 gold? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Um, that would be cool if we could have it next door to the other one, but I mean, we could kind of squeeze it in here, I suppose. It doesn't have to be the biggest uh, farm, does it? So, well, anyway, we'll see. We'll get this uh, quest out of the way, and then we'll see what it wants us to do uh, once we've done that, which, like I say, shouldn't be too much longer. As soon as we have 50 gold, we, uh, we can get that uh, initiated, and then I think it takes seven days to finish. And then we can see what else we can uh, be getting up to. Actually, we need to build some more houses again. We're at 29 out of 30 already. Um, I guess we'll build some more on the back of here. Seems like a pretty decent place for us to go. Let's go for some housing. Oh, no, we don't have the money. 25 gold, which we don't want to spend. We want to spend the 50 and then, yeah, we just won't have enough. So once we send the gift, we'll then have to build the houses and then we can probably get on with building the farm. Because, yeah, to be honest, we won't have enough to build the farm anyway. 25 gold as well, so we won't. Anyway, let's let's send this gift. We're going to send it to Giovanni. I kind of wanted to send something to Agnes, but um, like I say, it's 50, 50 grain. It's going to take us a while to kind of build that up and get that going. So we're just going to send him the 50 coin. And then in seven days, well, let's give him a wave. Hello. Hello, Giovanni. Hope you're having a good time. Anyway, we've sent him the 50 gold. So once our messengers got there and I guess come back to us. Um, well, actually, no, it says delivered successfully. So I guess once they've just got there, we'll finish this objective and we should unlock the next then. We'll see what else we're going to be getting up to. So yeah, in six days, we're going to get that finished. Oh, we have we have also got these ruins over here, which it says we can do with a hero. I'm not sure if we get heroes so far in early access. I guess we'll find out because I would imagine we get them pretty soon with kind of how uh, how much other stuff we've unlocked already. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully we do, because we can take a look at this. I uh, need to invite these uh, peasants. Yep, we can only have one out of the two because we don't have enough room. Oh, we actually unlocked the uh, the next tier. We are now a village. So we're actually getting 150 coin. That's awesome. So we can start getting some building now. Oh, it actually unlocks the windmill for us. So we can turn the grain into flour and the stone quarry. Oh, and the hero quarters. Well, let, look at that. We were... <laughs> We were literally just talking about it. We can actually build the hero quarters. Um, it's 200 gold. I think we will do... Oh, we can get the stone quarry as well. I guess that's probably better. I don't know where we can see. Um, if we click on this, can we see where, like, stone is? Oh, it's if it's one of these large rock formations rather than the smaller ones, like over here. Okay, well, we don't have any of those formations in our land. Good to know though if we do need a lot of stone we've got another one here we've got one here as well so that's pretty cool can worry about the later and we can um yeah let's get this uh the grain going and then the windmill going and then we can start making flour and then i imagine before too long we'll unlock the ability to make uh, bread and then the bakery that also makes people happier plus five desirability so i guess we'll build the bakery like somewhere close to here so it kind of has that area of effect around our uh, new houses but uh, anyway first well, we'll unpause because we're kind of waiting for this to finish. Four days. Joe, we'll build the gran uh, the uh, the farm first, and then we'll see. Like I said, I really would like to have put it here. 
It was 200 though, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want to be spending 200 really. I guess we'll have to... Um, do we want to put it here? I don't want to put it in the middle here because I think we... Well, no, do you know what? This might actually be a good place for it because we can't put housing here because the negative effect of these buildings... Although, no, that's also our lumber area. So, yeah, this is a negative effect. We don't want to build anything within here. And then we've got this. Don't want to build anything within any of it. Yeah, so none of this we can really build in. Uh, we could put it in here. We probably get enough trees from the rest of the location because it's kind of dead space where we can't build housing without getting that negative modifier. Kind of feels like it'd be an okay place. It's not exactly how I'd want to set it up, but... You know what for our first time playing the game i'm sure it's fine so uh yeah let's do it let's get this we'll put it here and then yeah we want wheat we'll just have a big old wheat field basically in here 105 gold it's a lot of gold but it gets it built gets it built and then we can get this really nice looking windmill in place as well it's quite big, actually, isn't it? So I guess we'll put it next to... Um, no, we don't want to put it next to this. Because that is taking more and more of our tree kind of area for planting trees. I mean, we could put it over here. Let's do it. It kind of looks okay next to it. I kind of want to switch these over. I'm guessing we can't. Oh, it costs us five gold to switch. Oh, no. No, you can't switch. I guess you'd have to get rid of the the fields and then re-put them back down. Joe, it's fine. Again, it's not ideal. Ideally, we'd switch these, so this one would be the grain farm, because then it's right next to the windmill, and then we can have the bakery like next to it as well. But this'll do. Yeah, we, we're we just taking a look at the game, guys. It's not going to be a perfect uh, setup at all. So anyway, let's get this building, then we can get all this going. I think we have some unemployed people, so... Uh, let's see. We have a the builder yard down here, the labor hut. Let's get somebody working in this. That's going to help get these buildings built a little bit quicker. And then I think we have one more unemployed. We do. Let's have a look. Do we have anyone? Well, actually, we could look in that menu, can't we? Um, buildings. Workplaces. So, yeah, these are missing one of each. I mean... I guess we'll go one more in the stockpile. We might as well, because we can always remove it from the stockpile. We don't need somebody else in the Messenger's Guild, and the granary is doing fine. That just stores food, so I don't think it's desperately in need of two people. It can hold up to 600, so we are, you know, filling this up relatively quickly, but nothing too crazy. Oh, pastry. Nice. Get some pastries later on. Do enjoy that. One day remaining, and then we'll finish this mission. And then, like I say, we'll see what the next mission gives us. Oh, we've got a world event. Beggars. Times have been hard and we've tried our best to put food on the table, but we are out of options. We heard of your good heart and decided to swallow our pride and come here to beg you to help us. We've got a lot of vegetables, so I guess we'll say yes. We might as well. We've got like 200. But 38 days worth of food. I mean, I suppose we're going to have bread relatively soon as well. We are in the summer, but I think we'll be fine over Christmas. The farm is finished. Oh, actually, yeah, we need one of those people to work in the farm. Uh, so let's remove you from there. Add you here. And then the stockpile, which was here, I think. Well, let's just do it this way. It's it's, it's far easier. Uh, stockpile. Move you. Uh, where's the other farm? Where's farm number two? It doesn't show in here. There we go. Anyway, this is mostly done. When we do get some more people, although we do need to build some more housing... Uh, do we have enough? I think it was 25. Yeah, it was. So we'll build one more house. Kind of want to do a road down the middle of here, so we'll place it... Look, does that really matter? So let's build it over here instead. There we go. Nice. Oh, 55? Oh, because the additional buildings cost you more, don't they? Um, Yeah, we can't build this then. <laughs> Never mind. We'll do that as soon as we have the money. Anyway, our message was delivered. Let's collect this money. So he's going to like us a little bit more. We've got 75 gold now. Begin courting under the ruler. Deliver courting gift successfully. Well, there we go. We've got a 
try butter up one of these people. So we've got to make her our friend. So we have to be get grain. Even Giovanni, we've sent him a gift and he's still not actually our friend. So I guess Agnes will send her... We'll get the 50 grain, we'll send it to her. And then... Do you know what? Let's send the messenger separately. Is that free? Yeah, I think it is. So we'll send them first, improve your relationship, and then we'll send her the grain afterwards. And we'll flirt with her a little bit, because why not? There we go. So yeah, we've sent them. Got our windmill up and going. We haven't got anyone to work in there either, but to be honest, we haven't got any grain yet, so it's not really a massive issue, is it? To be honest. Oh, we've got enough money to build some more. That's the wrong building. Build some more housing. Kind of need another one. Yeah, we don't have enough. But this will get us ready for when the next uh, set of immigrants come, which is in six days. We obviously want to be ready that, ready for that, because we need some more people, to be honest. And we've got quite a lot of wood now. That was an issue earlier on, but we are stockpiling it up quite nicely now. We could always remove someone from one of these. We've got three people in the lumberyard. Sure, let's remove one from the lumberyard and put them to work in the farm. I think that's a better idea. Get this grain going that little bit faster. See if we can get a harvest in before the end of the year. I'm not sure if that is possible. Uh, can we see? Fully grown after 12 to 14 days. Okay, I think we will get that finished before the end of the year. All these buildings finishing uh, construction, which is fantastic. Got our messenger coming back in three days. And yeah, we've got a harvest coming in here, actually. So we might have a decent amount of food. Yeah, we're back up to 190. So 40 days, I think we'll be fine over winter. It would be nice if we had another bit of food, like if we get these pigs or I guess up here we can get some fishing going, maybe. Is that one of the food things yeah you can do fishing oh it's not in early access though yet so we can't do fishing but we can do the pigsty and we can do the bakery so that's two more ways of getting food now uh, we have two visitors but we can't accept them oh no we can because we've just finished that house so there we go we got them nice well in that case we can get somebody going no of Ab oh they've not actually arrived yet <laughs> getting ahead of myself there we go nice and we have none other, none others free, but at least we've got somebody working here now. Oh, they've actually got some grain. Oh, no, no, it's saying it takes two to make one flower. Oh, yeah, the grain is going quite nicely in here. We'll speed up time again. There we go. Our message got through to Agnes. She almost likes us, so I think if we do get that 50, um, 50 grain, we'll be able to knock it high enough. We could just try the normal positive effect, but we'll see. We'll see. If we have the grain, we'll do it. I think we've got enough food to last us otherwise, although that did knock down to 127, so I suppose we are getting more and more people. We probably do need a little bit more food, uh, but we haven't really got anything else. We could do some more uh, pumpkins, but I'm not sure. John, let's just get some more housing done. Uh, like I said, I kind of want to leave a gap this time so this path can come down here later on. Joe, it doesn't have to be, like, symmetrical, does it? I think it actually looks better if it isn't, so let's do it like this. And then we can have a path. If I can spin it around. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I guess maybe not. Oh, no, 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 I haven't selected it. There we go. Yeah, so we can bring a path down here. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't. it's not symmetrical, but like I said, I think it actually looks better that way. Looks a bit more natural as, a, uh, as how a village would grow. And yeah, these trees are actually growing pretty nicely around here. So I think we're fine putting this in the middle. And then we can always put some, uh, just some decorations in here if we really want to in the future. Our homestead is finished and our clothing line is finished. And they're just about to finish the small greenhouse. So that will feed them a little bit as well. So that's pretty good. Oh, the clothesline actually brings happiness. That's pretty nice as well, actually. It's a nice little bonus in that area. Got some more money, 54 gold. Yeah, there we go. The grain is coming in now. So we've got what... Uh, Five. Okay, this goes up pretty quick then, because we've only kind of caught these little bits here. We're already up to five grain. I suppose this is going to take it. Can we, like, pause this? I, I, I guess we can just remove... Closing removes all workers and cancels upkeep cost. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> because I kind of want to get the 50 grain first to send to Agnes. And then, uh, was it Agnes? Something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, Agnes. Um, 
and then we'll turn it back on. Although, I guess, is it just getting pumped into there anyway? No. Oh, can people just eat grain? Well, I guess they can. <laughs> I guess people can just eat it. And that's why it's going back down, I suppose. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. With all this, we should get this up to 50. If not, it's going to be really close. We're going to pause as soon as we hit 50. And then we do have some free people that can work. So I guess we'll just fill out these, because why not? Got an additional person. Um, got an additional person in the lumber camp. And then, yeah, we do need somebody for the windmill. But like I say, we're probably actually... I was my, in my hubris saying we'd easily have 50. But it might be touch and go as some of it keeps getting taken to be eaten, I guess. We're up to 40. I think we'll be fine. Cause I think it's going... See, now it's back down to 25. Now it's back to 40. Oh, do you know what it is? I wonder if it's them moving it into the granary. Oh, that's what it is, I think. I think it's when they pick it up from here, it goes down. And then it goes back up once it's placed into the granary. Because I guess in transit, it doesn't count as being available, I guess, maybe? Yeah, it's up to 55 now. So anyway, yeah, we can send a uh, another gift to Agnes. Oh, in one day we can do it. So we'll just wait here, I suppose. Oh no, we can't. It pauses whilst we're in that menu, so we won't do that. Let's see, is that long enough? Yes. So yep, we'll send her the 50 grain. That'll mean she'll definitely like us enough, and then we'll send... Uh, well, we'll try court her, and we'll see what happens. Seven days, so not too long. So yeah, nice. This is finished. We've got 100 gold. We're actually making 45 gold a time now, so that's not too bad. I guess the bigger we grow, the more money we make from our housing. So... So it's probably actually fine having more and more people. We probably should build some more housing again. Yeah, because we, we could bring in two, which is enough for the next set of three people. But the ones after that, we obviously want to make sure we've got enough. So I guess we'll build one here. Excellent. And then we'll build a road down here. There we go. Nice. And there we go, they're already putting some more grain down. Oh, do you know what? It's only summer 30. We might get another harvest done before before winter, I suppose. Might get another... Yeah, because during fall, I guess you still can grow. It probably won't be as good, but it looks like we're still going to make some more grain before the year is done. In that case, we can actually turn this back on as well. So let's get rid of someone, yeah, from the granary. We could have that one person in the windmill. They can start making some flour. And then we'll just have flour stockpiled for... When we can build the bakery. Uh, actually, no, can we build the bakery already? Joe, I've already forgotten. No, we can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, we unlocked the hero building. Yeah, we need to build that, don't we? We need to get the hero building going. 200 gold. We might just save up and get that going, to be honest. Uh, Fabling's in need. Your Grace, we've recently left our own realm due to the horrible conditions. And we are hoping to sell here with you. However, we could use some coin to get us started. Hmm... I mean, this is basically you get two more people, but it costs you 75 gold, which I don't think is worth it. Five nobility? You got 35? I don't know if 35 is a lot. To be honest, I'm not desperately in need of the extra people. So I'm going to say no. Because <laughs> I'm not in like in a in a desperate need for two more people. Because we're going to get two more people now. Like, I know it's an extra two straight away, basically. But until we get some more of these buildings built, we're not in a massive rush to get them, so... Sure, it's fine. It's fine. We turn them away. Anyway, our message got delivered to Agnes. So we are up to... We need 100 grain to quarter. We float with her just to lower that? No. <laughs> well, I guess uh, next year we might float with her then. We need to get... Joe, I almost think we need a second grain farm um, to do that. Can we... Because I guess we can't extend how big this is. No, I think we... Ma oh, yeah, 40 out of 40. Yeah, we maxed it. Actually, did we max this one as well? No, we didn't. Oh, we can actually expand this one. There we go. Because we might as well have this as big as possible because it's just more food for us. So, yep, we'll expand this out. Yeah, otherwise, I don't think we'll get to 100 uh, grain without another farm. So I kind of feel like building them like back to back here gonna look kind of weird i suppose but 
I mean, it's going to destroy all these trees, but you know what? I think it's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, more ooh, rain. Uh, can we not do it? Yeah, like this. Is that full? I can actually fit some more. I just did this really bad. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to look kind of lopsided, but you know it's fine. Anyway, yeah, let's build it because we're going to need to. We're going to need more uh, more grain to to make Agnes happy. So there we go. Chop down some trees. Got our farm going. And then get some people working in there, I suppose. We've got two unemployed, so we'll put them to work in the farm immediately. We kind of could do with connecting some of this through. Actually, yeah, we should have left a gap here, so this connected. It's not the end of the world, but it, yeah, it would have been better, I think, if we'd done that. Yeah, we'll invite these people, because then we can get them working in the additional stuff as well. And then I guess we'll just save up our money until we can build the uh, the hero uh, the Hero Hut, whatever it was called. Hero Quarters. That's 200 gold. Yeah, pretty expensive. Made 56 gold. So yeah, this is going to add up pretty quick, especially as we're not going to really spend any money now. Oh, the farm already got finished. So let's get three people working, working in there. I guess we are going to hit fall now. So the snow is going to be coming before too long, which means we won't be making... Uh, obviously any grain during the winter. But during spring, I, I'd imagine we're going to get to that 100 relatively quickly. Now we're going to have all these people working. Oh, our stockpile is pretty full. 101 out of 150. I guess we need to build this a little bit bigger. Can we just expand the size? guess not. <laughs> I guess it's full. Uh, we need to probably build another stockpile then as well. Uh, what were they under? Is it this? Yes. Um, sure, I might build a stockpile like over here somewhere. Yeah, John, let's do that. Let's expand this road up. And then we'll build a stockpile like here. I know it doesn't look that cool, but <laughs> did that work? Oh yeah, they're just on the back of it. No, I kind of want to remove this one. Ah, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, let's destroy it. And then we'll place the third one. There we go. That's better. Yeah, we'll have it here because we'll probably put some more farming or something over this area. Oh, we've got some more ruins here, in fact. So yeah, we really need to get this hero built. Built. You know, build a hero. Or maybe you do in this game. Who knows? I imagine you just get a hero that joins, but uh, you never know. And they're still trying to get a grain uh, harvest in before the end of the year. Grain. I keep saying grain. It's wheat, isn't it? Uh, a wheat harvest in before the end of the year. It is in fall, but I imagine... I don't know, 24 days left... No, on the 24th day of fall, you know, we might get a crop in before the end of the year. So, well, the end of the growing season, so we might be fine. How much money have we got? We've got enough. We're going to have to build some more housing. That's the wrong building. This is housing. Um, I guess we'll build some here. I wasn't going to build here, but I guess the positive effect of these buildings is actually negating the bad effect of this one, because this is showing green, which means people are going to like building here, uh, living here, so... No, I guess I guess we'll do this. We'll put one here. That's a terrible. No, do you know what? That's a terrible. <laughs> a terrible location. There we go. That's better. That is a little bit better. So yeah, that'll give us some extra capacity here. Once we hit forty-two, we unlock uh, becoming a big village. So that'd be pretty nice. We are kind of getting squeezed in down here. I do kind of want to buy one of these uh, sections, but I guess the hero building is going to have to come first. Yeah, we really should save up and just just build that so we get the unlock for it, so. There we go. Homestead finished. Beehive is finished. Small greenhouse is finished. 
Oh, there's no well here. Oh, well, there you go. Need to make sure that's built. Oh yeah, look, it's just, it's so close. It's just not. So we'll just build it here, that's fine. Gonna make people like it that little bit more. 50 grain. I guess if we do bring all of this in before the end of fall, we might. Oh no, it's zero. <laughs> so never mind. It's zero now. Yeah, it's all in here, all the 50 grain. Like I said, we probably want to turn this off. There's like 56 flour already in here, and we don't have a bakery. So I kind of want to stop this. Oh, it doesn't destroy the grain. Oh, good. Okay. I did wonder whether it destroyed the grain, but it doesn't. So that's good. The grain will just stay here. Yeah, we'll do this because I really want to save up this grain now. And until we build the bakery, there's no real point in stockpiling grain, is that if we've been honest. And there we go. Here comes winter. Oh, it just deletes the uh, the wheat. <laughs> you get to winter and you haven't brought the wheat uh, harvest in, it just disappears, which makes sense, to be honest. But uh, it doesn't doesn't help us at all. We will have enough in four days, though, to uh, to get that hero uh, building. We can get that built, and then, like I say, in spring, we can work on this objective again. And, uh, yeah, get working on that, which will be pretty nice for us. Yeah, we can build walls, barracks, sword fighter grounds. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's invite these, because that will give us some extra coin. I mean, we are already nearly capped out again, because you can't upgrade these homesteads, can you? No, I don't think so. Or can you? Let's have a look. Condominium. When you reach small town. Is that what we're unlocking next? No, big village. Oh, keeps 15. Four people can live there. Four commoners. Yeah, see, that would be better for us. Yeah, oh, that's, that's actually where we get commoners from, I guess. But we also need uh, iron for that, which we don't currently have. Yeah, 53 grain. Interesting. Oh, we've got enough money. We can build the uh, the hero quarters. Oh, it's not really big, is it? I kind of thought it'd be like a grandiose building, but it is not. I mean, it's okay, but I kind of thought it'd be a bit fancier. Um, where should we put this? So we kind of squeezed in a little bit, so... Well, I guess we'll just put it here. It's fine. It could be next to the farm. It's all good. It's all good. So this will get built. Oh, what a specimen! Your oh, it got built really quick. Has arrived. The hero is your kingdom's strongest fighter. It can interact with secrets in the realm, level up, and even equip new items. Oh, go on. Try giving it an order. I will. Open the armory, equip an item. Okay, open the armory. Oh, we can, <laughs> we can put a straw hat on him. Let's put a blue hat and then a trinket. I guess I guess you get, like, loot and stuff like that when you're playing it. And we got Fergus here. Looking quite nice for himself. Move your hero. I guess we'll just move him, like, here. There we go. Claim this gold. That's the end of that. Well, do you know what? Let's send him uh, to these ruins. Inspect the ruins, Fergus. Let's see what we've got whilst we're waiting for uh, winter to finish. And then, yeah, we've got him up here, 216 health. I don't know what this is going to do. I don't know if it gives us a quest or just gives us some rewards. While searching through the ruins, the hero finds many relics from the past. Underwear, perhaps worn by a great wizard. I mean, that'd be pretty, pretty good, I guess. Or how about a floral teapot surely used to brew ancient potions? On second hand, perhaps they are just regular items. These schematics look very useful, though. So we can actually build large uh, wooden flower pots, and that was our prize. <laughs> ah, that was our prize. Um, I guess we'll just get him, like, standing... I don't know, like, here, <laughs> I suppose. It's kind of... I, I'm, I wonder whether he just wanders around aimlessly. That would be kind of cool. If he just stands there, it'd be, it'd be a bit weird, but... It'd be what it'd be. Uh, can we actually, like, upgrade this or anything? No. Yeah, these give the same... Oh, no, these are different, actually. This gives more health, but... Oh, health and attack speed. This gives health and health regeneration. I wonder if you actually can, like, spec them into, like, a tank and, like, DPS, then. Because this one seems like a, a tanky kind of item. This one seems more like you're going on out on, a, out on attack, so... Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Anyway, we can 
do this, which is going to make us into a big village. We get the stone masonry. Turning stones into rectangles using brute force. Oh, the bakery. Nice. And street theatre, which I guess is going to make people a bit happier. So let's get the bakery going for sure. Oh, this is the area. Oh, yeah. No, this is area of effect. Ah, yeah. We really should have planned this better. <laughs> I mean, we could, like, put it here. It's going to look super... Ah, see, no. We want it over here somewhere. Not even that. We kind of want it in the middle. Oh, we can't put it here, though, because it block. Mm. Yeah. We did not... We did not plan. How big is the street theatre? It's not that big. It doesn't, it doesn't actually affect that many places. Street theatre is kind of limited, although... Gives plus 20 desirability. That's pretty nice. Oh, we don't actually have steel, though, to make that. Oh, actually, good point. Does the bakery need uh, steel? Uh, they're, they're the wrong ones. No, it doesn't. Cool. Yes, we can build this. Oh, I mean, I'm almost tempted. It's basically the size of one of these lots. I'm kind of tempted to destroy this house. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> You've been evicted. I guess we need to destroy this as well. Demolition mode. There we go. Because then it affects all this area. I mean, it's just such a good location. It does mean we have more people than we have housing, though. So we definitely need to fix that. And again, we're kind of running out of space. Um, I mean, we're going to have to put it like over here, to be honest. We've got literally nowhere else for it to go. There we go. And then once the, we'll prioritize this, because otherwise, like, this person over here doesn't have a house. They're just living on the floor somewhere. Same with this person here. I guess they live together. So we want to get this finished as soon as we can. And then, to be honest, we need to build somewhere else immediately. So I guess we'll just build another homestead. We'll do it here, because then we've got the gap for kind of building out this way in the future. Yeah. There we go. It's looking very grid-based, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't look that kind of... Uh, a natural building, but uh, it's fine. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. We've got our hero. Once we get into um, spring next episode, we'll be able to do this objective as well, and then we'll see what else we can be getting up to. But as always, if you've enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. It helps other people find the series and the channel in the future. And if you're new here, I usually play grand strategy games, a lot of Crusader Kings, things like that, but we do try the odd city builder or simulation or management game on the channel as well. So... Hit subscribe if that's your kind of thing, but we're going to leave it there for today, and I'll see you in the next one.